My fiance has been sending her glasses on the carpet next to our bed at night, and as a maker, I decided I will not let that stand anymore, so I'm going to make her a nightstand. I had this really beautiful poplar wood I've been hanging on to and thought this would be perfect for this project as one of her favorite colors is green. I used a plywood template to trace out the dimensions that would become the top and bottom of the nightstand onto the poplar and mark them with a pencil. Then I took them over to the table saw and cut them to length. I'm going to make the crack of the wood the feature of the top of the nightstand, so I use my high caliber ice pick to clean out the loose debris to get it ready for the epoxy. I covered the bottom of the piece with two layers of blue tape to hold in the epoxy and keep it from leaking out. I'm counting on the tape and the weight of the wood to create a strong enough seal. Then I mix up the epoxy that will fill the void. I decided to make a custom color using Okinawan green and battleship gray. This way it will be unique to this piece and also darker than the natural green color of the wood so they both will be able to shine. Once the epoxy was poured, I let it sit for a few minutes, popped as many air bubbles as I could, then let it fully cure before taking it over to the planer. Next, it was time to start working on the leg portion of the nightstand. I again used poplar, but I also threw in some walnut to act as a middle support and contrast wood. Like before, I marked everything to the dimensions I wanted them to be, and then cut everything down to length on the table saw. Afterwards, I ran everything through the planer so I had nice clean lumber to work with. To get the legs a little bit more style, I set the table saw to 45 degrees and cut a bevel on the outside face of each leg. I mocked up how I wanted the legs to stack together, marked the angles with my speed square, then took them over to the miter saw to cut them to the proper angle. I want to take a moment to thank all my patrons, who include Marion Ward of the Creative Ward Gallery, Corey Wall of Make Shape Create, and Nick Vespa, Build That Build. Your support helps make the things I do possible. Thank you all so much. Now back to the build. After I got all the pieces for the leg cut out, I glued them together using wood glue and super glue. I'm going to reinforce them with a one and a half inch dowel. So I marked from all four corners to find center and then drilled a hole using a portion of it. Rounding over the edge of the dowel helps it to go in easier. Because I beveled the legs, I decided to put a 45 degree bevel on the top and bottom too, which gave it more of a gemstone kind of shape, which I really dug. Next I sprayed everything down with water to pop the grain and sanded it all down to 400 grit. To attach the leg to the top and bottom, I decided to route out a space for the legs to sit in. I got the plunge router attachment for my dermal, and I gotta say, I really like it. It's super handy. 
for the bottom, I drilled holes, countersunk them, added wood glue and attached them using one and a half inch wood screws to make it really secure. I applied two coats of water-based satin polyurethane as my finish. Once the finish was dry, I used some 5-minute epoxy to attach the top to the rest of the nightstand. And with that, this project is done. Thanks so much for watching to the end. It helps me out a ton. Do me a favor and like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what you think of the style of this nightstand. I think it came out really cool and my fiance really loves it. Thank you again and remember, make moves, not excuses.